Welcome everyone to another video. Today I am going to demonstrate you a Shaolin stick talu. And with this, I will show every step with this one. A baseball bat. Many of you think that why I choose the baseball bat? Because in general, we see the Shaolin stick talu is performed by stick. But I am going to show you the real techniques. The real thing is you cannot carry long sticks with you. And the sticks in the markets which are foldable, these are not useful. They break very easily. But this one is very hard. You can carry this bat with you or you can find this bat in your opponent's hand. In these days, the thugs or the criminals carry this kind of weapon. This may be a baseball bat or a hockey stick or a cricket bat. You need to know how to use this bat with Kung Fu style. First, I will show every step with the stick and with the baseball bat. So, let's start. It's time for the main thing. First, I will show you the stick and more stick. And then, how you can use them with baseball bat. So first, see the move. Grab the boost up like this. Okay? Now, perform a kick, lower kick. Rotate it. Sit. Aim, hide it, go forward, perform a palm push. Okay, then uppercut, change again, hit, and then rotate, jump, and perform a heavy attack. Now, let's see how you can use this technique with baseball bat. Now before you perform a baseball bat, make sure you perform wrist warm up because it needs a lot of power of your, of your wrist. Okay. First of all this technique. So what is this indicates? This indicates block. Normally we grab that in two ways first this one and the second this one this grip indicates attack and this grip indicates block remember it so the first thing is block and kick how think someone is coming to attack you with a bat it may be a baseball bat or a hockey stick or a long stick so first what we have to do now the first attack is always a heavy attack of the street thugs and the attack is like this this one this attack is very heavy so you need your two hands to now block. first block okay block then perform a lower kick this kick may be in the leg or in the abdominal area it depends on the situation so block kick okay this kick will push your enemy little behind but remember this is not enough after performing kick your enemy maybe will come again to attack you then just simple dodge okay just simple dodge fear him like this dodge fear him and then perform a kick or a punch now the next one three attacks in one time it's your time to attack 
First of all, the uppercut attack. Grab the booster like this because it is attacking them. So, first uppercut. Okay, this attack is a light attack. So let's see how to do this. First of all, light attack, then medium attack, and then heavy attack. These are the three attacks. First light, then medium, then heavy. Now the next technique. Now the first is this one. If you see that this bat is not too long, it do not reach, or you can, uh, it cannot protect my leg properly. Now in case if someone tries to attack in your leg, then make, then sure, make sure you perform this one, okay, or this one. This is the good way because. I don't think this is the right way to protect your leg. This is good for boosting, but not for the bat. Otherwise, you can just rise up your leg. Okay, it's time for the attacking one. First of all, perform the uppercut strikes. One and two. That's only for to move forward. Because the bat is not a long weapon. It is a short. It only attacks in this range. So, upper attack, upper attack. Move forward and go close to your enemy. And then perform a sudden attack. How? One, two, then grab the bat like this and then perform a front kick yeah. or a hill kick, whatever you want. Okay, in this case, maybe someone comes from behind to grab you or to attack you. What to do? Fear him, not to attack him. Just round the bat like this. Okay? Then, do not forget the first one. Perform a heavy attack. Yeah. Now, in this time, he will come again. So, I recommend you to change your hand if you can okay otherwise go to a safe spot so after performing this attack just change it in this boost stick. Just, just like, like we, change we change our hands in boost stick see so change it and then perform another heavy attack okay this attack may be in cross direction so why the cross direction it is not necessary that your enemy is empty handed he may be carry a bat or a weapon with him if he attacks you then this attack will break his heavy attack or if you are lucky then you can just hit him one attack double benefits so always perform a cross attack in this case so let's see the technique again first attack from two sides first one is in your front swing swing kick someone is coming fear him and crush the first one change yeah attack this one now it's time for him to fear this time swing upper to lower just like a sword this time swing upper to lower just like a sword now the main benefit of this bat you can use this bat stick techniques with this bat and also sword techniques with this bat the main difference is that cannot again swing swing now if someone comes from behind 
just perform a kick yeah okay you can move forward or perform it in just one place so one two three now change your hand this time we will attack with this speed kick yeah head strike or yeah break the enemy attack if he attacks you so the two conditions first fear him fear him someone is coming from behind kick him now if he attacks perform this one now if he don't attack perform this one so you see these are the techniques and it is a first part when you practice this then you realize that that is much heavier than this stick so perform it slowly steadily so this is it guys if you like this video useful then wait for the second part and i will meet you in the next one until then keep practicing